Hello, fashion professionals. My name is Jesse Dombroviak, and I'm the co-founder and COO at IndieSource. Today, I'm gonna to give you a little bit of context of what it's like after you begin, you've begin. you decided to work with us. Um, so first steps would be you'd have your development kickoff meeting, you've brought in, you brought in your reference samples, you filled out your development cheat sheet, and then once you've decided to get going with us, uh, that's where this part of the conversation is going to start. Uh, so first, we're gonna connect you with a project manager. And these project managers are here to be your helpful guide that are gonna accelerate your process in product development, right? So they're there to help you avoid common pitfalls, uh, they'll offer design consultation, uh, business consultation, um, and overall just help you get through some of these areas that you may not even been thinking about, right? So come on in. This is part of where the magic happens. And first, when you have your reference samples, we'll be working off our digitizing table. So this is uh, a computer that we'll do to reverse engineer your garments. Um, next, your project manager is going to be sourcing materials for you. So they'll go into Los Angeles, work with the hundreds of vendors that we uh, have in our library, and they're gonna select some options for you to approve. Um, next, the patterns will be made. Uh, they kind of look like this. Um, and then we'll be beginning the, the hand cutting and sewing of each of your prototypes. Uh, and then this is where we do our fittings. Um, so you'll come in here, you'll meet our pattern maker, pattern maker Lana, you work with your project manager, um, you'll tinker, you'll figure out what are those areas that you'd like to dial in, right? Um, during that process, like the whole goal of development is so that you get, we get your approval on fit, fabric, materials, costing, and then ultimately you fill out a purchase order. Purchase order is your intent to buy, and that is uh, the production deliverable, right? So in development, we work to tinker a garment, we work to make it as perfect as possible, and then in production is where we duplicate that. So we'll make 100 per color, or 20 per size, or something like that. Um, one of the ways we're able to get suit, like minimums way lower than overseas is that we work with a lot of in-stock fabric vendors. So over here you'll see some of our fabric library. Um, and what, what I mean by that is our, these fabric vendors typically will sell us one roll, which is about 80 yards, while overseas they require you to knit a thousand yards at one time. And so they're at a thousand pieces, we're at around a hundred per color. So that's one of the like, advantages of working locally. Um, one thing that we do do uh, is we, we uh, bill off of a retainer. And so what that means is basically each client kind of has different needs, different requests. Some people need more hand-holding, more consulting. Some people have more questions. And some people actually just change their minds throughout the process. And that is totally okay with us because what we ask you to do is put down some money into a retainer and then our project manager bills their time from that, right? So if you use less, you use less and we can credit that later. Or if you need to use more and it runs out, then we just ask for more on the top of it. Not in LA, not a concern. Our project managers are able to send swatches, samples, and conduct virtual meetings and fittings with people all across the country. We really appreciate you considering IndieSource as your local manufacturing option, and we hope to see you here at our office in Los Angeles. Thank you.